Hi, this is Bruno from RVing TV, and today we're at Bella Vista RV Center in Oro Medante, Ontario, and we're going to take a walkthrough of the interior of a 2015 Dynasty by Monaco. This floor plan is a 45P or 45 Palace, as it's known, and it truly does live up to its name, as it is truly a palace on wheels. You'll notice right away upon entering the dynasty here, you'll notice that your steps are lit with LEDs. We do have uh, lit grab handles. And just the tile work and the finishings are absolutely exquisite. We'll come back to the cockpit a little later. We'll take a walk through the coach and look at some of the various amenities. Now one thing I love about the 45 Palace is this L-shaped sofa. In this coach it's actually been upgraded to the electric L-shape so the sofa does actually recline into a bed or can recline just for lounging. And it also comes with this ottoman that can be pulled out in the out position as you see it here or can be pushed up against the sofa. And when the sofa is dropped it becomes a sleeping spot. Now, the Dynasty, of course, is outfitted all with villa furniture, so you have very soft and supple leathers, much better made furniture, real attention to detail. Across from our L-shaped sofa, you'll notice a really nice fireplace, lots of storage, Sony soundbar, an extra large flat screen Sony Bravia TV. And of course, if you're going to travel in this luxury, you want to have Sony Bravia TVs that will just give you exquisite picture day in and day out. Now, this coach has been optioned in with the desk option, so you'll see a nice work area here with the drawers. We have a nice large seat that can also be used for reclining and just relaxing and just really comfortable seating overall. As we make our way down we have our traditional freestanding table and of course that dinette table will pull out further and we'll also have two chairs so it pulls out a little further we have two additional chairs underneath the bed that we can use to seat guests. We do have a nice area off to the side here that not only boasts storage as we'll see here, but also gives us the extra space to be able to lay out that extra bottle of wine, um, some side dishes that we can have right at our fingertips. And then a great feature, and it's been placed right next to our desk area for working, is this outlet and USB stick. When it's not needed, simply push it down, it's out of the way. When you do need it, you can pull it up. It has USBs to charge your phone, you can actually uh, plug in whether it be a printer or your computer any extra accessories overhead of course you're going to have additional storage and then our entertainment center is located up in the corner here and we do have a satellite dish so that hooking up a satellite is very very easy now the kitchen is a great spot in this dynasty here at the edge we pull this out and we actually have spot for two waste bins whether that be recycling for one and waste for the other or both for waste so you'll have lots of space you're not constantly emptying bags putting them out at the campsite then we do have side access so really nice storage space across the board we do have a storage spot here for all our Corian inserts and that's something you don't see a lot these days. You know I don't know why manufacturers don't tend to put it in but it's something that Monaco has traditionally done and they have it here. So nice to be able to take the inserts on the sink out, store them away and then they're out of your way. You don't have to worry that you're going to knock them over, break them, chip a tile, whatever it happens to be. Now this coach is equipped with a Fisher Paykal dishwasher, nice large dishwasher. We do have a nice little pantry here for all those items that you want at your fingertips. Uh, true induction range. We have a great spot in the corner here to place 
uh, different accessories like toasters, etc. And then lots of drawers. We have a spice drawer right here, as you can see, it's already set up. We've got another drawer here, then lots of storage with adjustable shelves. And of course, all our cabinets are lined from the factory, so you're not going to have to pull out all the non-skid lining that typically most RVers do. In the corner we have a great little appliance nook so you can put again a toaster, coffee maker and that'll rise up, use it in the morning, drop it back down and it's out of your way for the day. We have some additional drawers here so lots of storage throughout. Another nice deep drawer for cutlery and other items. And then you'll find every time you turn around, there, every nook and cranny has been used for proper storage. So here's a pantry, all adjustable shelving. So you can set it up for the size of your goods, whether they be dry goods or cans. Down at the floor, you'll notice our sweep. So you know, if you happen to take out a quick broom, sweep it up, bring it over to that sweep, it'll vacuum it up. And then on this side, of course, we have our traditional central vac. Of course, this unit is equipped with multiplex wiring. So since we have standard multiplex, we've also optioned in the iPad option, which ties the iPad through an app into your multiplex system so that you can run lights, Shades, and speaking of shades, our shades are all power shades. Dual level shades, day and night, both are power, can be operated manually through your multiplex system, or you can actually use it through the iPad or put the app on your phone and you'll be able to do that as well. Now, residential fridge. So as you've noticed, as we've covered the galley, no propane equipment. This coach is a 100% electric coach. We don't even have a propane tank on board. The reason for that is we run the 450D AquaHot system. So the 450 is the larger system. The D designates diesel. And the 450 system will not only give you heating for your... Um, heat exchanger heat to keep the coach warm, it's also going to give you engine preheat as well as instant hot water. Now that system is tied into your engine so you can preheat engine in cold weather, but also when you leave on a trip and you start traveling and you've forgotten to turn on that aqua hot for hot water, even in the summer months, and that's when you're typically going to forget, you'll be able to run down the road, it will take engine heat, cycle it through the system, and you'll have hot water without even turning the system on. So it'll bring that system up to temperature. And of course, this is a French style fridge, so we've got two great bins here that slide out of the way to give you access to additional storage. So lots of space for steaks and sausages and burgers and all the great food that you love to take camping. Of course, we have controls on the outside of the fridge and access to water and ice right here on the outside. As we come over next to the fridge, you're going to notice additional pantry space. Just absolutely tons of space. The coach has been designed that if you wanted to get in this coach and go out and be a full-timer in it, you could go out and full-time. Now we'll come back to our mid-bath because the 45 Palace is a bath and a half coach. But let's take a look at some of the amenities in the bedroom. So we have a king-size bed here. We do have overhead ceiling fan, which is nice for the cooler times. You can actually use that to cycle cool air or also to cycle warm air around. Your choice. Now, over the bed, we have reading lights as well as great storage on both sides. But the real secret is really elegant looking bed here. But there's going to be days that you don't want to be sitting up against the back of the bed. You want to be able to use the area, uh, whether you're doing laundry, whether you're, uh, you know, putting clothes away. So, and I'm going to reach over the king here. So both of these doors are open up, and we have a nice large window in the back, excuse me, a nice large window to let lots of light in. As we pan across here, you're going to notice across we have lots of drawers. 
large flat screen TV as well for entertainment purposes. But these large drawers give you lots of storage space. Then we've got this great lip here. Now what's great about that lip, great spot to sit down, put your socks on, put your shoes on. A phenomenal spot if you've just taken the laundry out you're doing some folding, you can use it to fold clothes. When you're packing up from a trip to take all your items into the house, great spot to take things out, put clothes, put gear there, and have it accessible. Now in the corner here, you're gonna notice again, another one of our, bar, our power bars that has plugs for 110 plugs for regular accessories and a couple of USBs for phones, etc. So when you go to sleep at night, throw your phone there and you can charge it. Nice, great overhead storage, nice and deep, fully lined again from the factory. And then I should point out that on each side of the bed, not only do you have a night table, you have a generator start button here, you have a 110 outlet, you have a USB, and there's your switches, your switch for the ceiling fan. Then another set of multiplex switches here, as well as here. So what's great with multiplex, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna focus the camera to the front. One push of a button, there's all our lights. All lights go off. So anywhere from a variety of multiplex locations, you can hit one button, all lights, turn everything on, turn everything off. It's that simple. Or choose from different stations and choose the lighting that you wish to have individually. And again, pull out that iPad or your phone and you can do that all from the comfort of your, of your hand uh, wherever you happen to be standing in the coach or just outside the coach. Now let's take a look at the bathroom here. Nice large countertop space here. So when you are parked for a period of time and you want a spot for your shaver with the power cleanser for the shaver, your power toothbrush, uh, all your you know colognes or perfumes, great spot here. You can put them out. You don't have to be putting them away every morning because you don't have space. Lots of space. Also for lighting, we have LED inset lighting in the sink. So absolutely exquisite. We have lots of overhead storage above. Another window in the back. Of course, a porcelain toilet with electric flush. And below, lots of storage, several drawers. Um, you'll notice here the floor lighting that we have accented here. At night you can turn on your marker lights as I like to refer to them or your aisle lights and you can get up, go get a, a bottle of water, go get a drink, go to the washroom and you don't have to be turning on lights everywhere waking up everyone. Now as we pan around, the Dynasty boasts one of the largest showers in the industry. And I'm going to open the door, give you a closer look at it. So we have a nice large door, beautiful glass, ceramics throughout. Just look at the detail in the ceramic work. You know, a huge shower head above with skylight. We have an inset area here to be able to put our soap and our shampoos. Gone are the days of shampoo falling on the ground while you're trying to use it or your soap falling on the ground. And then of course, what do you do? You run into the RV dealer to buy the little soap holder that sticks on the wall. You don't need that here, folks, with the Dynasty. It's all built in. They've really put that thought process in. Even a nice little st a stool here so that you can sit down if you need to. Um, also great stool for the ladies so they'll be able to shave their legs and so on. Just absolutely well thought out. You know, beautiful ceramic tiles on the floor. The attention to detail in this coach is phenomenal. Now as we close that and we take a look over here, we're actually going to see our stacking washer dryer. What's nice with that, it's here in the back washroom. So during the day when you have a load running that's being cleaned as well as a load drying, you can close the door here to the washroom, close the door to the bedroom and be up front and literally hear nothing. Now, I'm going to take a look at the rear wardrobe here. What's nice with the rear wardrobe is it's nice and deep. We do have shelves, so you have lots of storage. And of course, there's two doors. I've gone in on the far side so that you can actually see everything. 
We do have a cedar lining here in the closet, so your clothes are going to stay fresh. They're going to smell nice, regardless of what the humidity is like. Now, lots of space to place other items like shoes, sometimes some storage bins. Uh, of course, this black bag here is all our manuals and instructions. And then what we have here below this cabinet door is actually a safe. So when you're traveling, you can keep your extra cash, you can keep your extra credit cards, put your passports, keep them all nice and safe and locked up, and that way you don't have to worry about them. Now, not only do we have engine preheat with our AquaHot, we do have a traditional engine block preheater, so if you are in a campground, you're plugged in, you simply want to run that, you can do that as well. Right here, you'll see two control sets. These two control sets are for our floors. I've actually left that up until now, knowing that we were gonna come back here, but one thing I do wanna point out, you'll notice the beautiful lighting in the closet here. And you have to do nothing other than simply close the door, lighting goes off. Now our floors here, we have a dual zone electric floor heating system. Not water, not propane hydronic. We have a residential electric grid floor heating. This is the type of floor heating you want to have in a coach. You want it as an electric grid that distributes the heat evenly throughout your floors and in dual zones. So one of your zones is back here in the bedroom so you can set it to a different level than you want up front so your second zone is your living area up here and that's just a great flexibility to have because at night you may want to keep the bedroom a little warmer and tone it down in the living area if no one's staying here in it then during in the morning when you get up crank it up a little bit as you get ready when you come out it's really nice and toasty warm in here. So that's just a great feature to have the electric floor heating. Now our mid bath or our guest bath, you'll notice porcelain toilet here. We have the electric flush buttons just off to the side. Really beautiful accents, really nice woodworking here. Of course, Corian everywhere and tiled backsplash. Nice large medicine cabinet above. A window as well for additional lights and of course a power fan doesn't look like a power fan and it shouldn't we're in a dynasty it is it is prettied up all done in solid wood just what you would expect in a dynasty now one great thing with Monaco is Monaco's woods nice solid wall solid wood there's steel in that wall, really, really well-built coach, really well-framed, uh, and just an absolutely beautiful driving coach because we sit on a Roadmaster B chassis. So we send Freightliner's C channels back, and we use our own power structure so that we actually have an I-beam, set of I-beams instead of C-channels, which gives us greater structural rigidity, better driving ability, as well as, um, you know, a quieter ride and less flex through the chassis. So I'm going to just turn the system on here. You're going to notice the Silver Leaf Electronics right here and our radio and GPS system. Now, the coach is equipped with silver leaf what that does is on this screen it allows us to take a look at our cameras or flip to our information system so we can take a look at items like tire pressures because this coach does have tire pressure monitoring on it we can use uh, different details in there we can sit set our trip uh, tripometer in here we can view history we could take a look you know at our at our sorry at our history here of what we've done we could take a look at diagnostics it's just a beautiful system overall and again you'll notice the woodwork the multiplex wiring um, all our our switches are here to be able to access right at a fingertip we have beautiful gauges set in front of us again all covered in wood 
I'm going to pull back here so that you can see the smart wheel. So we have everything at our fingertips. And this coach has been upgraded with the power memory steering wheel here. So uh, just a great feature. You can, you know, tilt it with a push of a button. There's no more reaching down for the little, um, uh, sorry, reaching down for the little pedal. You know, you can telescope it in pull it out and then of course we actually have power pedals down here and those are all controlled with this button here right on the steering wheel as we come around we have you know full set of switches here for our driver's seat um, for memory we have our tag axle dump dome lights our engine brakes mirror heat and even our three level mirrors so what's nice is as we look out a little harder to see right now but it's a, a triple level mirror, which really gives you great visibility. And of course, a power window for the driver so that when you have to reach out for tolls or at the border, push of a button, down goes the window. Great little feature. Now we also have our leveling system here. You're gonna notice it's flashing right now because I've turned the key on and it is a dual level uh, system. So we can level with air, which I've done and we've been walking around in the coach, or we can level with hydraulic jacks. Your choice, but you do have that flexibility. Um, this is Bruno from RVing TV. I believe I've covered pretty much most of the options here. Um, we, we didn't really talk, but uh, we have covered it in a separate video about our power slide out trays that we have outside. A uh, little dark tonight, so we can't really see it, but we do have a power awning system. It is a Gerard awnings, a set of awnings on, on our windows, and they are power, so you're not having to go out and simply, you know, pull them out manually, push of a button, it works. We've optioned in, as I'm giving you a look here forward, the front TV, so we have an additional TV here. We do have an exterior entertainment center, and that, that TV drops down from the bottom of the slide, so it's protected. It's not sitting out in a box on the edge. Gives the coach a much cleaner look. Uh, of course, we've talked about the dishwasher and the desk and all the great features of this coach. We do have satellite on board, as I mentioned. One thing we haven't really talked about, I guess I should have covered it up front, so I apologize, folks, but we have optioned in two special options on this coach. A 12 and a half kilowatt generator. Of course, it's a Cummins Onan. Very reliable. Tons of power out of that generator. And this coach has been equipped with the 600 horse, not the 500, the 600 horse uh, 15 liter Cummins engine. Just absolutely a beautiful powertrain package. And then this coach has also been optioned in with the CSA package. So CSA is Canadian standards. What that means is thicker gauge wiring than this coach would be traditionally built. So when you're running the generator, putting more power, drawing more power through the coach, thicker gauge wires. Wires don't heat up as much. You don't have as many issues. Just a, a much more robust system across the board. As well, a couple of differences in the propane system. Uh, it meets both Canadian and US standards. Canadian standards insist that propane lines must be a single run from the tank to the, to the appliance. Um, however, we have no propane, so not really an issue on this coach. But that would be a difference with CSA on any other coach. And then uh, some, some minor differences uh, that are higher requirements in coding like the electrical. So this coach meets all Canadian and U.S. standards, which is a great feature to have. So it can be registered in Canada or the U.S. Well, as I step back so you can get a really good look here, I'm going to say this is Bruno from RVing TV at Bella Vista RV taking a look at the 2015 Dynasty 45 Palace. For more information on this coach, visit www.bellavistarv.com. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please click the subscribe button.
And for information on the RVing lifestyle, check in at our other channel, RVingTV.com, and our YouTube channel, RVingTV, for great features and videos on lifestyle products all about living the good life. Well, this is Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you for viewing the video, and I'm going to wish you a happy and safe camping.